Warning, this video contains extremely graphic images of deadly spider control. This is an important video because I have found a redback spider at a very unusual height. This spider may have been an escapee from my spider tank and possibly via Frankenstein methods, I have bred the super redback spider. Well, I've seen some nasty web there and I'm giving this a good spray. Man, I am tired of seeing what I believe is a redback spider. You can see the web better there because there's spray on it. I actually think it's um, put into the drawers as well. Yes, look at the web structure there, hey. It's going up a long way. It's like the back of my Toyota had the same problem. And I'm just waiting for the spider to appear. Oh, I think I can see it. I think I can see it. It's not going to be very happy. It's uh, just here. Okay, there's the red back there. Look at that, and it's dying throws. I'd call a smaller female. Let me get it over to here so I can have a bit, bit of a better look. Uh, nasty, isn't it? Nasty, nasty business. And I've used that cheaper spray, and I think, as I've worked out, the cheaper spray takes a little bit longer to kill them. Um, please don't be attached to these things. They're just far too many of these. I'm getting into the cooler weather, and seeing these guys around in the cooler weather is disturbing. And what I'll do is I'll just finish her off. Ooh, look at her. She's still fighting there. Yeah, that, that's a cheaper cold spray that I've just used. I definitely think it takes longer to kill them. Oh, she's on the ground. And I'll try and come in and get a good night sister shot of this girl. Put her out of her misery. Ugh, nice hydraulic sort of effect there. Good night sister. But how many more of these sisters are going to be around is what I'm really worried about. I'm getting to really understand their webs and uh, the way they make them. It's a, a triangle shape here. A lot of drop down lines coming down from the bench here. I've just got black tubs here and things. It's sort of semi warm here. There's just a, like an old train system there. G scale train. A couple of broken toys in there. But what has surprised me here is... I uh, like the back of the Toyota find was, well basically there's one rule of length there, just remember that spot and space there, going up to two and she was actually, her nest and all was actually inside the drawer here, okay she was basically up underneath there because I could see her spider lines were going up into there, and where she was actually hiding out and I got my light on my phone here, it was up in there, you can see the web in the foreground and uh, very high up, unusual sort of spot, never seen redbacks here before. Now the other worrying aspect is this is all relatively new activity because I've only put this trolley here in the last two weeks. Now I'm starting to work out these spiders can set up like little humble homes very fast. That's what's re really worrying me. I can see there's more web activity over there and I think I'm just have to come in and well basically spray everything here. I can't firebomb this like I'd like to. Or else I'll set fire to the house, just give it a big spray. And uh, maybe after doing this, uh, who knows what else is going to come running out. Mind you, that redback spider was trying to hide. We are getting into the cooler parts of the year. And I think these spiders are basically recluse for the better part of winter. That's the spray there, I've worked at it, it doesn't, doesn't take much spray to empty the can, uh, it's very inexpensive but it does kill these spiders. Uh, but what to me is most worrying is that's basically bench height, This that redback spider is up at bench height and I don't like that at all. And while I'm down here I can see there's a lot of web activity up between these tubs, these redback spiders love tubs like this because there's a lip under here, and if I can drag my special tool under here, no, it's coming up clean. Like I really think this is a fairly new infestation. A bit of webs come out on that. Oh yeah. yeah, there's lots of web down there. Nasty business, isn't it? Finding that female redback spider at the workbench really worries me, and it worries me on a couple of fronts. Uh, for the fact of how high it was able to set up its web there, it was very similar to the height that I found the one underneath my car. That. Toyota. I say Toyota because it was a Toyota made in Thailand. Okay, about the same height. To me, this is like getting up to like hip height. If you can imagine that, the spider's up at hip height. It can drop webs all the way down to the ground. And it's waiting for something to come along and get snared in one of those drop down lines. I'm becoming uh, very good at identifying those drop down lines. They are very, very fine uh, spider web. And you really got to look carefully to see them. 
I'm finding these spiders all around the house. I'm finding them very close to the doorways of our house, but I'm yet to find one inside our house. Now, what I think may have happened here is with the spider tank, and you haven't seen what happens at the end of the spider tank, but <laughs> the blossoming of spiderlings in a spider tank, some of those spiderlings may have spilled out of that spider tank, and that's part of the, the infestation I'm having close to my home because I basically have a spider tank down in my garage. Silly move, I know. Uh, but maybe these spiders that I'm seeing up close to the home are escapees from the spider tank. And maybe the spider tank started to breed the super spider, the super redback spider, because of the way they're eating each other out, okay? Um, very, very, look, they're interesting spiders, but I think the problem I've got in my place is by the time our summer rolls around, I think about Halloween time is when we start to get into warmer weather. I know you'll be the reverse, okay? <laughs> it's very confusing. The world is round and we go around the sun. And it's also tilted. Confuses me as well. But uh, I think when we come back to our summertime, I'm going to find one of the greatest, all-time, most scary redback spider infestations in my backyard that you're ever going to witness. That's my gut feeling because of what I'm seeing going into our cooler weather. I'm finding these spiders everywhere. I think I need a, I need a professional help. Be it a nuke from North Korea or something. Maybe you've got the answer. If you are curious about my WD-40 experimental area to stop redback spiders, uh, that's what it's looking like in early May. That's the best way of saying it. Who knows when this video will be uploaded, I just do not know. Um, just, I don't want to disturb too much here. But uh, one thing about these spiders is that you'll see little bits of web uh, coming down from things. If they have been setting up. Now at the moment, I can't really see anything going on here just by looking at it on top, but who knows what's going on underneath. Mrs. Cow, the garden ornament, was not sprayed with WD-40 and I would highly suspect there is activity going on inside her, that is redback spider activity. Hmm, what can I see up there? Is it in focus? I can see web up there, but just at the moment I cannot see the spider. Yeah, I'll probably see better of my own eyes than trying to work it out with the iPhone. Uh, who knows what's going to be in there by Halloween time, which is the time when one year is up And we come along and we see if the WD-40 has stopped them setting up in this That one was left without WD-40 uh, This one had spray on it and so did that one there And this is an important area because this is where the enormity of my redback spider infestation uh, Really kicked off. It was my son asking daddy. Can you get a nerf dart which is down amongst the trucks and it started a world of pain only time will tell, basically next Halloween. Halloween of 2017, we'll have a very good look at what's going on in there. Yes, it's always a worry leaving old toys around and uh, I know you're going to ask about this excavator. This is something that I purchased for my son. That was a couple of years ago now, but the, it didn't last very long. It's probably loaded with spiders. Um, the track on this uh, just disintegrated. It just went all, you know, it just breaks so easily. And that was a really, really disappointing aspect of what was a very, very awesome a uh, remote controlled excavator. Mm, maybe there are spiders in here. I can fix that. There used to be a time when I put something like that up as a bit of a garden ornament. Those days are over because of my spider problem. That's the rubbish track that was with that vehicle. That's a remote control that came with that excavator. It had all sorts of features. Uh, it was an awesome toy until I worked out that this part of the toy, the tracks, wasn't awesome. Very disappointing because I paid too much money for this, which ends up being basically Chinese rubbish. I think there's a lot of toys like this. They look highly impressive in box, uh, but once you start to have a bit of a closer look and scrutiny, one thing uh, will let you down. And on a tracked vehicle, that's a very important thing. Okay, if only that was made of a different material or whatever. Oh, anyway, I think I saw a spider in there. We're gonna deal with it in the way I know my audience loves. And from what I've learned, using this method kills spiders very fast. There's something so cleansing about flames. Yes, that's certainly taken care of. There wouldn't be a spider alive in there. Once the spiders are killed, I can put this out and make a lovely piece of art. 
And what's often nice to do is I can lift this up. It's a bit like a pizza, an excavator pizza. We like to look underneath to see how it looks, have we? There we go. Looks sort of kooky with the bits of tracks there, which were totally useless. But hey, that bit there looks very cool, doesn't it? Yes, another stunning piece of Leo Kim video art. Well, there's Fluffy looking over the backyard, seeing what she can kill. Isn't she a stunner? She's a stray cat that now lives at our place. Absolutely beautiful creature, and we'll let her sign off in this video. Are you going to say anything, Fluffy, to sign off? I didn't understand a word you said.